So we designed this device to help. Uh, we de designed this uh, haptic feedback measurement device to help um, people who start learning sailing to tell the direction of wind. So uh, the whole design composed of two pieces. One is the um, Madeline, and the other piece is the belt. And the so the haptic belt has motors on it mm -hmm. that reflects the wind speed over here? Um, yeah, exactly. So the idea is that you're out on your boat, you're sailing around, and you want to figure out which direction the wind is going. And obviously you can feel the wind a little bit, but it's a bit difficult to figure out exactly which direction it's blowing. Mm -hmm. And so by wearing this belt and installing this weather van in your boat, you're able to um, tell with uh, much more precision via an intuitive feedback mechanism where the, you have vibration motors um, that you can just sort of sense on, around your body. And you don't have to look at a display or listen to anything. You mm -hmm. just could feel you it. Exactly. Uh-huh. It was that we sort of augment the human senses with the sure. sixth sense to feel the wind. Sure. So um, t let's take a look at this weather van box. So as you can see, we have a nice piece of aluminum shaft that everything is mounted to. Um, up at the top, we have a... Um, this is a hull effect encoder, which um, senses the rotation of a magnet directly above it. Mm -hmm. And um, so the magnet itself is mounted to this weather vane arrow piece, which um, spins with the wind okay. and spins smoothly via this plastic mm -hmm. bearing. Underneath, we have the set of wind cups, which measures, which measures the wind speed. So there's a hall effect sensor here, which um, sends out a pulse whenever this magnet comes by. Uh -huh. And these wind cups blow in the wind regardless of which direction the wind is blowing because they're oriented with um, three cups at uh, 120 degrees mm -hmm. each. Mm -hmm. So when the wind blows, this arrow turns to the appropriate direction, the wind cups blow with the appropriate speed, and by measuring the time between pulses and reading the um, rotation of this sensor, we can figure out exactly um, what direction the wind is blowing and with what velocity. Okay, and so now on, on the belt side, so, so spin this thing and let's see if we can, I mean this is meant to be worn so it's a little hard to do visually, but, but spin it. So what happens is that um, inside of this box there's a Bluetooth module which um, sends out readings from the weather vane over Bluetooth. And the belt um, receives those readings and maps them to uh, one or two of the motors around, that are spaced around it evenly. Okay, so now spin, spin it and let's see if we can... So, so in use, this would be around your waist and the motor that's spinning, uh, it, 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 it vibrates uh, proportional to the speed and um, with an intensity proportional to the speed, and you can get the direction by just wearing it. Yeah, so there are five degrees um, that, are wrapped, that are mapped directly to each of these motors. So if this weather vane is, so if the wind is blowing within those five degrees, only that motor vibrates. And in the 40 degrees between motors, because there are eight of them, so um, that's the appropriate spacing, we interpolate smoothly between the, one motor and the next so that you can, it feels almost as if it's between the motors and that mm -hmm. gives you a more accurate sense than um, it would be if it were just um, with each of the motors as a, as a discrete point. So you basically anti-alias the motors. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, thank you.